Welcome to our presentation on using the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal to monitor school and student performance. This presentation is divided into two parts. In the first part, you will learn how to access the Oklahoma Parent Portal to monitor student progress and performance on the Oklahoma State Testing Program Assessments, generally called the OSTPs. Latin Public School students take the OSTP assessments at the end of their third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade years. Parents of students who took the OSTP assessment at the end of the previous school year can access their students' data using the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal. The next few slides will show you how to do this. To access the student portal, go to www.oklaschools.com, enter Lawton into the search bar, select your school, and then click on the your student tab. To enter the student portal, you will need to log in. Please note all accounts were reset in 2022. You may need to re-register as a first time user. To log in, both new and returning users will need to use their student's state ID number, which is a 10 digit number. This number can be obtained by contacting the school office. New users will also need to enter their child's birth date. Step two, click go. This website can also be translated into Spanish by clicking on the button as shown. New users will need to enter their email address and create a password for the parent student portal. Review the privacy agreement and check the box to indicate that you have read and agree with the privacy policy. Then click register. The Oklahoma Parent Student Portal contains a wealth of information about the OSTP assessment results for your child. Your student's testing history helps you know how your child is progressing from one year to the next. Click on any of the tests to learn more about your student's assessment results. You can also click on the buttons at the top to translate the website, update your email, or sign out. Please note, OSTP assessments were not administered in spring 2020 due to the COVID pandemic and the statewide closing of school buildings. While OSTP assessments were administered in 2021, score validity may have been impacted by COVID pandemic related circumstances. Scores on the OSTP fall into four categories ranging from below basic to advanced. Scores below 300 represent students who are most likely performing below grade level standards, while scores of 300 and above represent students who are most likely performing at or above grade level standards. The parent portal also has information about your child's performance over time. This shows how your student is progressing from one grade level to the next starting after the third grade OSTP assessment. You can also find performance by category, which shows how your student performed in each subject category as either below standard, at or near standard or above standard. It also shows the points your student earned and the points that were possible. In addition, it lists ways you can support your child at home. The performance level comparison shows how your student scores compare to other Oklahoma students who were in the same grade level and took the same test. You can compare your child's scores to other students in the school, district, and state. You can also view whether or not your child was proficient in this test and in their readiness for the next grade level or course. You can also find information about your child's Lexile level. The Lexile measure provides a score that describes the level at which your student can comfortably read challenging text. It also describes the complexity of texts, taking into account such features as vocabulary and sentence complexity. This measure, along with the consideration of your student's interest and experience, is helpful in finding texts for independent reading. You can find more information about Lexiles by going to the website www.sde.ok.gov forward slash SDE forward slash Lexiles. 
The portal also provides information about your child's math quantile level. The quantile level provides a score that describes your student's level of mathematical ability and the difficulty of a skill or concept as it relates to other mathematical skills and concepts your student is learning. The score shows your student's readiness for instruction regarding a particular mathematical skill or concept. You can get more information about quantiles by going to www.sde.ok.gov forward slash SDE forward slash quantiles. The performance level descriptors describe what a student at each level is likely able to do. Click on the tabs to transition through the descriptions and use the scroll bar to see more information. You can use the information in this report and on the parent portal to meet with your student's teacher or school. As your student's first teacher, you are a critical part of their education. It is important to remember that your student's strengths, abilities, and potential cannot be measured by a single test score. Each student grows at different rates, both physically and academically. State tests help gauge whether your student is growing in the knowledge and skills outlined in the Oklahoma Academic Standards. State test results, when combined with other information, can help you and the teacher understand where your student is making progress and where they may need extra support. For current information about your child's academic progress and attendance, you can use the LPS Campus Portal. A link is available on the Lawton Public Schools website under Families and Campus Portal. You can contact your school if you need login information. Infinite Campus is now available as an app on Apple and Android devices. This allows you to monitor grades and attendance on your cell phone. In the next part of the presentation, you will learn how to use the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal to monitor the progress of your child's school and district. Each year, public schools in Oklahoma are evaluated on a state report card, which is available to the public. Due to the COVID pandemic, school site report card grades are unavailable for the 2019-2020 and the 2020-2021 school years. The remainder of this presentation will demonstrate how the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal can be used to review previous year's data about your child's school site. Please feel free to stop the presentation if you are not interested in learning how to access the state report card for your child's school. If you are stopping the presentation now, please click submit at the bottom of the survey form so we can log your participation. Parents can access site report cards using the website www.oklaschools.com. The Oklahoma School Report Card shares critical information about school performance with schools, families, and communities. The report cards are intended to provide important information to stimulate conversations about school success and areas in need of improvement. Additionally, both state and federal law requires information about school performance be made readily available to the public. These indicators include academic achievement, English language proficiency, and high school graduation rates. You can view the school report cards using the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal. Step one, go to www.oklaschools.com. Step two, enter Lawton in the search bar. And step three, select your school or district to view the report card. You can also click on the word translate to have the web page translated into numerous languages. Please note, accountability related aspects for the 2019-2020 and 2020-2021 academic years associated with the academic achievement, academic growth, chronic absenteeism, post-secondary opportunities, and English language proficiency indicators were suspended through a waiver from the United States Department of Education. As a result, Data for waived indicators during those years is not available. During this presentation, we will be using data from the previous school years in order to demonstrate the use of the Oklahoma Parent Student Portal. You may view previous year's data by changing the school year in the drop-down menu. This option is available throughout the website for your convenience. 
The first page you'll see is a general information page. You can click on the tabs across the top for more information about the district or about your school. The Indicators tab allows you to view information about academic achievement, which is based upon the OSTP assessment data for English language arts, math, and science in grades 3 through 8th and 11th. It measures how well the students in the school are meeting grade level standards. Academic growth measures individual student growth between years on the OSTP assessment. ELP progress, which is based on the English proficiency assessment for students designated as English learners, measures EL student progress towards individualized yearly language growth targets. Chronic absenteeism is based upon the percentage of students who miss 10% or more of the school year due to poor attendance. Additional high school and district indicators include graduation rates and post-secondary opportunities. If you click on more details or any bar graph, you will see additional detailed information. Clicking on more details provides information about the indicator, including an overview of the indicator and why it is important, as well as links to obtain further information about the indicator. As you scroll down the web page, you will also see an indicator breakdown which compares the site, district, and state averages. Data can further be broken down by subject and or demographic groups. By clicking on the graph, you can compare higher and lower ranked schools in Oklahoma. As you scroll down, you will see information about student demographics. Results of the indicator can be broken down by clicking on any of the subject groups on the left, including race and ethnicity, economically disadvantaged, English learners, and students with disabilities. Click on any section of the graph to see the student groups, percentage of the school population, and its indicator score. Data for composite English language arts, math, and science is available. Results of indicators can also be analyzed by student performance, by target, and by proficiency level. Results can be viewed as either graphs or tables and can be filtered in many ways. The academic growth rate shows a matrix of gains and losses. The EL proficiency progress represents the percentage of EL students meeting their yearly growth targets. The student attendance by groups shows attendance rates. Thank you for watching. We hope you have gained some valuable information about using the parent portal to monitor your school and student progress please click submit at the bottom of the survey form so we can log your participation. Thank you.